Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan has less than a year to finish out the term of the country's late President Umaru Musa Yaradur. If he delivers on the promises to improve electricity and enact electoral reforms, Mr. Jonathan may be the front runner for next year's presidential vote. VOA's West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns reports Mr. Jonathan's candidacy would challenge an informal regional power sharing agreement. President Jonathan has moved quickly to make clear that this is now his government. With a new cabinet and new vice president in place, he set ambitious goals to boost electricity production, secure the gains of an amnesty for Niger Delta militants, and enact electoral reforms before next year's vote. If he's successful, University of Lagos political science professor Abubakar Momo says President Jonathan will be hard to beat if he seeks the nomination of the ruling People's Democratic Party. There are no people outside of this network of government patronage as such in the PDP that are able, beyond their politicking and sloganeering, who are able to have the kind of economic wherewithal to be able to sustain the incubacy, you know, uh, patronage that good luck is able to dole out in the context of the configuration that we now have. Momo says the president is well positioned to take advantage of divisions within the party over an informal power sharing agreement that rotates the presidency between North and South. Good luck is an incubant. And now a lot of following is tilting in his direction. The balance of forces are therefore in his favor. He's been able to get some echelons, some uh, you know, henchmen within the secretariat of the party to go a more hasty role. And they are bringing in allegations of corruption to undermine them. Their moral credibility is totally eroded. And that is the weakest link in all these matters. One of the biggest obstacles to a Jonathan candidacy was ruling party chairman Vincent Agbulafor. But he's stepping down as chairman in the face of federal corruption charges and challenges from within the party about how it selects its candidates. Former Minister of State for Justice Musa Alayo Abdullahi is a member of the ruling party's reform forum. The reform uh, group believes that um, the delegates that are being made to elect uh, governors and the president are heavily tinted towards the people that are occupying the offices of governors currently. Unreliable electricity is one of the most potent political issues in Africa's largest oil producer. President Jonathan has taken charge of improving power supplies by keeping that portfolio for himself in the new cabinet. It's a gamble, especially with so short a time to deliver. But if voters see a real difference, it could be the cornerstone of a campaign that political science professor Momo believes the president is already planning. Jonathan is going to stand the election, there's no doubt. Let's not make any qualms about it. Even from what he said at the, you know, uh, party executive meeting that they had about three weeks ago, if you read within the line, he talks about, to use his phrase, mosquito networking and all that and so on, which according to him was fair, was square, was, uh, you know, okay. President Jonathan's under no real deadline to formally announce his candidacy. The longer he keeps his political opponents off base, the less time they'll have to organize a campaign against him. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Dakar.